In this problem, you've been given three functions, f, g, and h, and you're asked to find some composite functions. g in this first problem is inside of f, so we want g of pi over 2. So we're going to plug pi over 2 in for x in the function g. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, and 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So this 5 is the value that we enter the function f with. So now we're looking at f of 5. What we really want is to know what is the function f when x is 5. So we count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like we're right there. So the answer to this first one would be 0. Same thing for the next one. g is again the inner function, but this time we are plugging in 3 pi over 2 in for x instead of pi over 2. And so at 3 pi over 2, sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, and we multiply that by 4. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3. So negative 3 is the answer to this first part. We're going to plug negative 3 into the h function this time, because h is outer. And so here, x is negative 3. So that means h of x is negative 2. That's our answer. Because we got a negative 3 and plugged it in for x. In the last problem, h is the inner function. So we are going to find when x equals negative 2 in h, here it is. And so h of x, this is the y value or the output, that's going to equal 0. That 0 is going to go into g. Well, here's g. So 0 in for x, sine of 0 is 0, times 4 is 0, plus 1 is my final answer. I apologize if the writing is a little hard to follow. I my stylus is not working, so I have to use my finger. Now try the problem in your classwork.